What's the weirdest question that you faced in an interview? Interviewing for a barber position. How do you feel about microwave fish? Turns out they had multiple people quit because a senior stylist would reheat leftover fish in the break room. I imagine that would smell pretty nasty. It was not good. So says you slash princess fancy farts. In a group interview. If you had to describe yourself as a song by Queen. Which would it be? Not gonna lie. Totally blindsided by that one. Interviewers then went on to do as many Queen song titles slash lyrics as they could for the rest of the interview. It was for a job stacking shelves in Asda Walmart. Don't stop me now cause I'm stacking beans and chickens. They're up on the wall. Don't stop me now if you wanna get a discount. Get out of the store. So don't stop me now. Don't stop me cause I'm helping a client. Moping the floors oh yeah. I'm burning through the sales. Yeah. Hey. 50 an hour. That's why they call me Mr. So Deprived. I'm selling at the speed of light. I'm gonna make a salesperson out of you. Dude this is so underrated. My co-worker got a job working for the local police department and apparently during the interview process they ask extremely grotesque questions regarding bestiality. I've heard this from a few people that are police officers as well. I wonder why that's a thing? Nobody wants a horse peeper on the squad I guess. Can you type this letter for me? I thought he wanted to test my typing or something. Which was weird enough. But no, turns out the receptionist was off sick. God knows how much of her work all of us candidates did that day. By far the smartest interviewer he is. Describe how a giraffe would put on a scarf and estimate roughly how long it would need to be. Well obviously that depends. Is it for fashion or warmth? Nice one. You ever seen a grown man naked? You ever seen a grown man cry? Grown man naked and crying reminds me of only one thing, cock and ball torture. I gave my interviewer a reply to how I'd solve a problem. He asked. Is that really the fastest way to solve the problem? Imagine I'm standing right behind you. Waiting for this to get done. What would you do? I wanted to say tell you to go back to your own desk. But I kept my composure. I never heard back and honestly wouldn't have accepted an offer if they gave it. Oh I'm sorry. I thought you wanted an adult professional. Not some toddler that needs micromanagement. Good for you for standing your ground. I'm sure this one is fairly common but I was asked if you were an animal. What animal would you be? I kind of stuttered and said I'd be an elephant because they're powerful but sensitive. And they have great memories. Dash. Eye rolls. I did get the job though. If they asked me I woulda said. I'd be a barnacle. Did you know relative to its size? The barnacle has the biggest penis of any creature on the planet. True BTW. Mine is are you vegan or not? That's a weird one indeed. It's been my experience that within a few minutes of meeting a vegan. They're compelled to inform you regardless of context. So if you hadn't told them yet. They should have already known. Confirmation bias. You're unaware of all the vegans you meet on a daily basis who don't announce their eating habits to you. R slash found the vegan. I was asked what my favorite bullet was. And follow up was what gun I use it in. I was applying at an ammo factory so not that odd. But odd out of context. Answer was 22 to 250. Closely followed with a 300 rum and a custom axis action and a factory 700 for the rum. Odd choice for a bullet. I'd probably go. 
17 HMR, maybe 458 SACOM. 45 ACP is best caliber. Years ago I interviewed for Franklin Computers. The Apple knockoff. Shortly after they had lost the legal battle with Apple. The head of technology spent the whole interview telling me about his strained relationship with his family and asking me what I thought of him. It was very awkward but I later realized he did me a favor and wasn't going to hire me because he knew they were going under. Her. So why you're here? Me. What kind of clown would you be and why? This was to work at a law firm. I would be the sad clown. I am already sad you asked that question and you seem to be a clown so could train me quickly. I'm a cook. And I had an interview at this taco place. Everything seemed to be going well until the chef asked me if I smoked. I said no then he glares at me and rippled. Never trust a cook who doesn't smoke. LOL. What? Yeah. In the long run. I'm glad I didn't get hired lol. Had an interview at a temp agency once and was given this long list of questions. One of them was when is it okay to punch another employee? I think there were four possible answers. I just remember that one of them was never and another was when he has it coming. Really made me wonder what kind of people they were hiring. Workmate kicks you in the nuts. He deserves a punch in. If I could be any animal. What would I be? I said I would be a human because humans are animals. Stupid answer but at least it was original. Posted in this thread about being asked the same question. I like your answer. Microsoft software engineer interview 15 years ago. I got asked how I'd get out of a blender if I was 2 inches tall. I replied with what kind of job am I getting into here? And I refused to answer the question. I didn't get an offer. Of course. What would be the answer? I'd run back and forwards until the blender tipped over. Because I'm assuming I'm 2 inches tall but also my current weight. I was once asked what do you do for fun? really struggled with that one. Would you considering giving up custody of your daughter for our factory sweeping part-time job? Only time I told a prospective employer to go beep themselves. You did the right thing. What's the algorithm for translating a time in the positions of the hour and minute hands on an analog clock? The job didn't involve clocks math or really anything related to the question at all somehow i managed to figure it out but they declined to make me an offer you mean like calculating the angle of each hand yes exactly i was asked if i was jewish because my real name sounds jewish reason was the hr bluntly put it as seeking diversity if you're in the US, that is an incredibly off-limits question. That doesn't stop them from asking questions. I once had an interview for Kmart and she asked if I had kids. She also asked if I had childcare for them and a backup in case that childcare didn't work out for some reason. Women's Center. What outfit would your vagina wear out? I mean, out to wear? I'm guessing the opera. Do you have good grades? It was a position as a produce stalker. He literally couldn't care less. I was told that explicitly. Later on. The main legitimate reason why someone would ask that is because higher grades in HS are correlated with being a more responsible teenager. Same reason you get a car insurance discount for having a high GPA. The cynic in me assumed he asked because kids with bad grades are easier to convince to stay later and pick up more hours. I was interviewing for a retail job and she asked me how do you feel about threesomes. 
I didn't know how to answer needless to say I didn't follow up on that job offer. Well you lost that chance. Yeah I wasn't really interested. If a super flu happened what would be your strategy to save the world? Haha <laughs> like how hypothetical are these questions gonna get? Are you virgin? I nope that job. Three weeks after being evacuated from a town along with tens of thousands of people due to massive wildfires that was all over the news. So why'd you leave your last job? Well. Gee. All the burning buildings made it hard to get my work done. Bob. And if there's one thing I can't stand is unfinished work. I ended the interview shortly after and then emailed in a formal withdrawal of application along with the reasons why. Tell me something creative you've done. Why is a manhole cover round? From your answer and if slash how you explained it? They could tell what kind of person you are. 1. Humans are far closer to round and square. So you need a smaller manhole than you otherwise would. 2. A square cover can be dropped through a square hole of the same or slightly smaller size if oriented diagonally. This will never occur with a circle. What kind of person does that make me? Vulcan. Are you comfortable using words like penis? Vagina. Clitoris and other anatomical words? How does your family feel about that? You need to tell us what kind of job this was. Hey guys, if you like this video then smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thanks for watching, click here to see more videos.